Pickle, let's go to the hotline. And let's go down to San Antonio to talk to the head coach of the San Antonio Sotomayor Wildcats. We are joined by Coach Juan Morales. Coach, how are you? I am doing fantastic, sir. Thank you. Uh, how are things in beautiful San Antonio, Texas? Well, you know what? It's beautiful weather today. I'm enjoying it. Well, I can say that I'm enjoying it just uh, in the times that I get outside. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and, and, and you've probably been, been cooped up because there's a lot of work to do there at, yeah. at Sotomayor, uh, building up the uh, what is going to be the 12th uh, school, uh, the twelfth uh, high school there in Northside ISD, um, and and you you come over from a, a pretty successful stint there at, at Holmes and previous to that there at, at at Highlands. What was it about this job, which is certainly unique, building a program from scratch? What was it about this job that appealed to you? Well, you know, being able to start a program. Uh, right off the bat, that's that's an appeal as it is already. Uh, you know, kind of put your own stamp on something, be able to start your own traditions, uh, be able to just you know be a part of just the brand new opening of a school. Uh, I I can't say you know much about that in terms of of that itself just being rewarding, but of course, uh, you know, being a Northside person, I've been here over 20 years. Uh, I've seen it come and and, and grow and. and and become with you know the fourth biggest district in the, in the state mm -hmm. of Texas, uh, so to be able to take a school that way and be able to say, well, now that I've I've helped kind of put my my mark on John Jay and my time there at Brennan and now at Holmes, uh, you know, I, I would hope that they would have some faith that I can do the same thing for Sotomayor starting out. Uh, th this program is is going to obviously have your stamp on it, um, you know, in, in in your fingerprints all over what it's going to look like. I'm I'm interested. Uh, what have you found to be, you know, you guys are still, you know, a few months away from playing your first game, but what have you yes. found to be the biggest challenge uh, for you in in building this program? You know, in a place that, you know, you're you're taking you're taking nothing and you're turning it into something. What what for now has been the or so far has been the biggest challenge for you? Well, the biggest challenge is uh, is trying to get everybody on board. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you start, it, I kind of compare it to, you know, you're painting the floor in, in the house, and it doesn't matter what part of that floor you start on. You, you're going to wind up painting yourself into one of those corners <laughs> uh, because none of the doors are open for you. And uh, what I mean by that is obviously you have to take into account a little matrix of what teaching fields you have, what positions are available, uh, you know, and, and then at the same time, you're trying to get the best of the best out here. Uh, and it's in some great fashion, it's a, it's a good problem to have, but at the same time, it's, a, it's just trying to make sure all the pieces fit. Uh, so that's been one, probably one of the biggest things. So anytime you start a program, it's, uh, once you start putting the pieces in, now you've got to fit all the other pieces that come in after that uh, to make sure those fit as well. So it's been an interesting process. Uh, we're talking with Juan Morales, the head coach of the San Antonio Sotomayor Wildcats here on Texas Football Today. Get involved in the conversation at hashtag TF Today. Uh, all right, coach, you guys are you're you're in a unique position because you do know. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The school's not open yet, correct? That is correct. correct. We don't open up till probably mid June or July. Sorry. But but you do know a number of the players that you expect to have on campus. Have you have you've had an opportunity to chat with them? And 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 if you if you have, what what has been your message to your guys uh, that are going to make up your Wildcats in the fall? Well, we actually have a chance to work out mm. with them. So Coach Salas has done a great job of kind of separating those kids out for us over at Harden. Uh, then, of course, we have a, a separation of kids that are going to be coming to us from uh, Coach Molesky's group over there at O'Connor High School. And uh, so in the mornings, we work out with Harden kids there, and we're, we're borrowing, uh, quote, unquote, their weight room and, and facilities. And then we do the same thing at the end of the day with O'Connor. Uh, and then, of course, visiting all our middle schools and working with them. But the biggest thing is we're going to make the biggest splash we can possibly make this first year. Uh, and in terms of making history, we're going to make history. It's just what is that history going to look like? And so we want to make sure that they understand uh, they want to take it to the top. Uh, Juan Morales from San Antonio Sotomayor joining us. Coach, this is uh, one of the unique challenges that you guys are going to face. And this isn't the same with, with every new program in the state, but you guys – uh, right into 6A, 
Uh, yes. just, you know, there's no, <laughs> no, no easing into this thing. You guys are going to go in there and you'll be playing with, obvi- there won't be any seniors on, on your, on your no 2022 senior. or team. Yeah. So, so I'm interested, how do you approach that challenge of playing at the state's highest classification with a new program with young players? How do you, how do you a- approach that? The, what is a pretty unique challenge? Well, you, you try and surround yourself with some great coaches. And I, I think we put together so far uh, a great all-star staff. Uh, getting everybody on the same page, and then at the next level, uh, you get all the kids on the same on the same level and the same stage. And so that's always been the formula. You know, that was my case over at Highlands. Same thing at Holmes. Uh, get everybody on the same page. Make sure that we have some great fundamentals, uh, and then make sure that they understand what our core beliefs are. I mean, we've got to be there every day. We've got to make sure that we're putting through that max effort. Uh, the focus has got to be there constantly uh, and then have some fun while we're doing it. Have a lot of enthusiasm, great attitude. Uh, when kids are having fun, they want to produce. And so that's been the formula for our success, and that's what we're doing now. And then I tell you what, we've had a great time now. We've had a chance to work with these kids since January, and uh, you know they're right on par. They're excited about what's coming up. You mentioned the formula and that, that you know finding the formula to, to, to make this thing work. You are no stranger to quick builds. Uh, when you took over there at uh, at San Antonio Highlands back in 2015, that you took over yes. a program that was 0 and 10. Uh, next year, uh, you know, finished second in district, seven and four, uh, back into the playoffs for the first time in, in in quite a few years. So, so, so then, do you feel like there are lessons you can take from that, from what was a pretty quick build there uh, with the Owls, and transfer it over to what you guys are going to be doing there at Sotomayor? Oh, yes, sir. Definitely. Uh, you know, we've had a chance to kind of do the, the same thing over high, uh, at Holmes. I will tell you that it was a, a tougher district and, uh, you know, the challenges were a little bit different and trying to get everybody on the same page was just a, a different kind of avenue that we had to follow. Uh, this will be the case here. You know, we, this is show up or, you know, or, your put up or, or shut up kind of situation. So uh, we want to make sure these kids understand that we care deeply about what their future looks like here this very first year uh, and trying to lay that base down, trying to set that history in place. Uh, and that's exactly what we're bringing to them. They, we want to make sure that we're, again, making that big splash coming out. Uh, and, and finally, Coach, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in, in – your. we mentioned you're going into 6A. You're going into a district, uh, you know, in, in, entirely there with, uh, with, your, with your ISD bunkmates there um, and some really good, really good teams and some really good coaches there in, in, in Northside ISD with, you know, yes. there Brennan and Taft and Harlan and O'Connor and Warren and Stevens, Holmes, et cetera. Uh, I, I'm, I'm interested in, in, in have you – do you feel like you've, you've, you've got the – the other coaches in that district have your back and that they've been helpful in, in building it. Cause you know, sometimes, Hey, that's the rival across town. Don't know if I want to necessarily help them out as much as they, they, that may come back to bite it. What is the, what is the relationship with the other coaches there uh, in the, in the school district been like? Well, in, in Northside, I will tell you, we have a great fraternity of coaches. The head coaches here just, you know, they, they want you to win every single game except one. Uh, that's the way every single one of us put it. And uh, we totally understand friendly competition, but at the same time, it is competition. Uh, but, I mean, I, I know so many of these guys and, and grown up basically here the last 20 years with so many of them. Uh, so many of them have just been really, really cooperative. They've been really helpful. Uh, you know, several of them have started new programs. You know, Coach Bazer over at Brennan, I was around when he started that. You know, Coach, uh, you know, seeing Brandeis open up, seeing O'Connor open up. I mean, I've been around for, for all of those schools and uh, to be able to just pick their brain a little bit about what are the things that they've gone through, uh, especially now just recently with Coach Salas opening up with Harden just a few years back. And uh, he's been extremely helpful as well. So all these coaches, you know, all of us want and, and need for, for Northside to, to be on the map. And so we do a great job of sharing ideas and, and sharing concepts. He's Juan Morales. He's the head coach of the San Antonio Sotomayor Wildcats. Coach, really appreciate your time. Congratulations again on the new gig and, and, and the, the job. We're so excited to see your Wildcats take the, take the field in the fall. Yes, sir. I appreciate you all taking the time, and, and I love what you guys do. Keep doing what you're doing. Absolutely. Thanks, Coach. There yes, sir. Goes. Thank you. There goes Juan Morales, head coach of San Antonio Sotomayor. Join us here on Texas Football Today. 
thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.